week brought news of a major shakeup at ABC News. Diane Sawyer is saying goodbye to the anchor chair, and she's being replaced by a guy who is definitely not a household name, weekend anchor David Muir. Sawyer's not leaving ABC, exactly. At the end of the summer, I'm going to be moving to a new role at the network, full-time, flat out, of reporting I love from around the world and in-depth specials on the stories that matter so much to all our lives. I'm going to be telling you more about this in the weeks ahead, but I love every night I get to spend with you. So why isn't her job going to George Stephanopoulos, who is arguably the network's lead anchorman? Well, follow the money. He anchors Good Morning America, which makes far more for the network than the evening newscast does. And ABC says Stephanopoulos will assume a new role of something called chief anchor, handling big breaking news and election coverage. Any way you look at it, it sounds like the evening news just isn't the priority it once was. And that's a pretty dramatic change. I can't think of anyone better to ask about this than one of the legends of network news, Dan Rather, who was, of course, the anchor of the CBS Evening News for 24 years. He joins me now. Dan, thanks for being here. Thank you very much, Jeff. We're glad to be here. So David Muir is the new anchor of the ABC World News tonight. Um, he's not a household name. Do you know him? I do not know him. Uh, I know his work, uh, not closely, but frankly, I don't know a lot about him and I don't know a lot about his work. However, uh, to ascend to being the anchor and managing editor of the uh, World News Tonight, uh, he must have been doing a lot right for a long while. You can say, well, he's only 40 years old. He couldn't be doing it for very long. But uh, what um, young Mr. Muir has inherited is uh, a, an honor uh, and a great opportunity, but in the great scheme of television and television news, it is now a diminished medallion. That well, the principal medallion goes to the main anchor of the morning news, which in his case is George Stephanopoulos. When you and your generation of anchors uh, became anchors, you know, Peter Jennings had been in London, you covered the White House, D Tom Brokaw covered the, uh, covered the White House and bid the anchor of the Today Show. You were at 60 Minutes. There was a sort of tradition, a progression, uh, till you got to the evening, evening news. Why is, it, why is it different now, and should it be different now? Well, it certainly is different now, and I think the reason it's different now is because the leadership of all of the major uh, networks has, has changed, not only changed the names and the faces, but changed in attitude. The idea of news being a public service has gone almost completely uh, out of it. The idea that our number one objective for any network, say, said the network executives of not too long ago, is we want quality news of integrity. If we, if we can make money, that's fine. If we do in the ratings, that's fine. We'd like to do that, but that's not our main purpose. Let, let's talk about the morning news shows and, and their rising importance. Um, they were, in your day, perhaps thought of as something of the farm team for the evening news. True. Now the situations are sort of reversed, uh, as the Muir-Stephanopoulos uh, change illustrates. Why? Why did that happen? Well, first of all, the morning news uh, programs, are, and I, I put news in quotation marks to a certain degree, because they're, they're really a mix of, of news and things like uh, how to do a better stir-fry and what's the latest hit movie. But nonetheless, it's all about money. Because it's a two-hour block of time as compared to a half-hour block of time in the evening, uh, and because uh, that, uh, there's not much controversy with it, uh, the money is there. And because the money is there, that's the reason George Stephanopoulos, who I think probably came to ABC thinking, I'd like one day to step into Peter Jennings' role, now they say, George, you're so valuable in the morning, we can't take you out of the morning, but we're going to make you part of the new face of the, of the ABC, and you'll be able to do some big events. For viewers or for just people who uh, follow news and care about news, should we care that morning shows drive the product anymore? Is that, is that something that is just sort of an internal matter, or does that tell you something about the kind of news that's going to be available to the public in the future? No, I think it tells you something about the kind of news that's going to be available in the future. And here's the point, Jeffrey. And I think people understand this when they stop and think about it. To have a free and independent, truly independent, fiercely independent when necessary press is the red beating heart of freedom and democracy. 
It, it, it serves as a check and balance on power uh, in government, exposing malfeasance and corruption. That's journalism at its best. Now, we're getting far less of that today than we ever had it. And these events of the last few days, I like all the people involved. I'm pulling for all the people involved. But what it says, you're going to get less quality news of integrity, dealing with really serious subjects, and you're going to get a uh, lighter fare. You're going to get less serious news. And uh, you're going to have uh, dictated from the very top of these corporations a, listen, it's all about the ratings. Forget about public service. Forget about a public trust. It's all about the ratings and the demographics, which equal money. That is an important message from an important messenger. Dan Rather, pleasure to talk to you. Thanks very much. Thank you very much, Jeffrey.